What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm here to bring to you my takeaway and analysis video for this week's game versus Illinois. Uh, before I get started, if you can leave a like on the video, uh, I would, I'd really appreciate it. It definitely helps the channel and helps to get this video out to people all across YouTube and helps to grow my channel. So if you can, definitely leave a like on the video. Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. How did you feel about the game? Is it how the result exactly how you expected it? Did you expect Michigan to win? How do you feel about the game? And if you enjoy my content and want to see more, definitely subscribe to the channel. So this, this game, I don't even know where to get started with it. Um, we're, you know, I guess coming into this year, you know, I've always thought that coaching was, you know, it was important, but I didn't realize how important coaching was until this season. And our team right now is poorly coached. And, you know, I, I guess looking back on it now, we were spoiled with, you know, especially the last three seasons with what Harbaugh put together. I've been saying this, but every week that goes by, it becomes more and more evident. I mean, especially last year, we had essentially an NFL team from the players to the coaching staff. And when most of all of that left, we're seeing the results of what we have now. I keep seeing people online talking about how much better this team should be because we have you know, first round picks uh, on defense and on offense. And I, I mean, I get that, but this is a team game and it, it is more than just a few players here and there. So, okay, you got two studs as tackles. You pretty much your defensive line is great, but what about your secondary? So, I mean, what about your linebackers? So it's more than just, okay, we got first round talent. They can't play every single position. So you got guys that even if your first round talent is doing first round talent stuff, you still got other guys that have to play up to their level for that to even have any bearing on the outcome outcome of games. And you know, it was it was evident from this game. I've always said that the the uh the bye week was overrated. People always go to that oh you've had an extra week to prepare. I've always said that that's always to me not a good thing it's actually actually a bad thing because it it can pretty much put you out of rhythm from you know your usual schedule of doing everything on a week to week basis and they came out you know a little bit flat but defensively we played well this game so i know a lot of our issues have been with, you know, bad play calling from the defense, at blitzing at un untimely times, bad coverage on the back end, um, you know, guys out of position, guys being confused, uh, you know, you name it. And we still had some stuff, some bad penalties to sustain drives uh, you know, penalties that gave them first downs, giving up 
third in the longs again. All that stuff still happened, but at the end of the day, I think the the the, the defense played well. They played enough. They played well enough to win. You know, Illinois scored their two touchdowns, if I'm not mistaken, on short fields from turnover. And even when they did drive, the defense held them to, to field goals. They did their part. The offense put the defense in bad positions where it was either a short field or they, they gave up. One of them was, wasn't even the offense. It was special teams got cooked on a, on a, on a play and gave them a short field. Now, I think that was the second touchdown was because of that. So I, I don't think that the defense was the issue this this go around. It was definitely was the offense and special teams. You know, special teams gave that big play that led to a touchdown. You had missing the field goal because our, our um, holder dropped the ball so it is these little things that are just killing us and going back to the coaching so I mean it, this wasn't like anything that made or broke the game but you know you're down two scores it was like third and one and I was sitting there wondering why is Donovan Edwards in the game on third and one? I know we're going to run it. Like, it just didn't make any sense. Third and one, Donovan Edwards is in the game. You need someone to give you that one yard. Why do you got Donovan Edwards in there? You know Donovan Edwards, if he gets hit, he's just going to fall down. You should have Mullings in there. But nope, they got Edwards in there, and he gets stuffed. So, I mean, that killed clock. I mean, it didn't matter. We didn't score in that drive anyways. But it's just like these head-scratching things that the coaching staff does, it just doesn't make any sense. And where do we go from here? Like, everyone was all aboard the total hype train. And, you know... Last game, you looked good for about a quarter and a half. And then, you know, after that, you've just been pedestrian. And this game, he just looked, he looked like a guy that hasn't played in years. He's missing throws, late on throws, throwing behind receivers, missing wide open receivers. Again, fumbling the football while he was running the football. That, that just killed us. I think that led to their first touchdown. I, I, I mean, then throwing an interception in the red zone. And it, it, that was a bad pick. The announcer said that he didn't see the guy. I mean, how do you not see the guy? The guy was like standing in the middle of the field. So it's just like we're, who who do we turn like who who is the quarterback now? Everyone was so high on it being Jack Tull as QB one, and now we have this you know this performance where he gives us seven points for the whole game. So now who's QB one? Do you, do you go back to Davis Warren now at this point? Because it's like he seems like he's the better best thrower, thrower out of the three, but he's turnover prone, but so is now Jack Tuttle. So do, do you go back to Davis Warren and just hold your breath and hope he doesn't throw a pick? Do you go back to Alex Orgy and just run the Wildcat all game? Like, what is what are our, what are our options at this point in time? I just don't know. And, you know, people are still 
you know, holding out hope against, you know, us losing again and somehow making the playoffs, that's done. There's no way this team makes the playoffs. I'm not even sure going forward whether or not we have the ability to win another game, let alone make the playoffs. Like, who on the schedule now is a guaranteed win? You would have thought Michigan State and Northwestern. But I don't even know if that's a guarantee now. I'm, I'm worried and I'm definitely worried about playing Oregon, Ohio State, and Indiana. Those look like some ugly games coming up. Especially if we're turning the ball over and... You know, we can't do anything other than run. We're in deep trouble. Deep, deep trouble. So, I mean, this was a bad loss. I thought the Washington game was a bad loss. This was worse than that. Because had we played half decently, we could have easily won this game. Look what Illinois did. I think they passed for 80 yards. Like, the de the defense did their thing. It's just, we couldn't do anything. We, we're turning the ball over. I mean, in that, that second turnover, um, Donovan fumbled. I mean, you know, play had it not been a penalty before that, it would have been a pick. So we 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 we're in we're in trouble. And you know, I'm seeing a lot of people talking about fire Sharon more, and I mean, granted, it hasn't been the best coaching job. So far this season, I get that, but I mean we're we're seven games in, and you're already talking about firing a guy, like it doesn't even make sense. So, like I said, I don't I don't know where we go from here. The team is just not right now, poorly coached, poorly prepared. Um, no group looks good. Uh, offense looks terrible. Defense looks mid. Special teams is so-so. Except for, you know, Zavada's been lights out. Not his fault on the missed kick in this game. But other than that, it's been terrible. Doman sucks as a punter. Shanked another ball today. He dropped the the um, the ball on that field goal that was his fault so it's like all areas are just failing so it's going to be interesting to see what happens at the end of the season are they going to give these guys another year are they going to get rid of Wink, get rid of Kirk Campbell I mean I just don't know but this is not sustainable. Nobody's want, nobody's going to want to come to Michigan if this is going to be the level of play that we play at. And, you know, I understand that this is new to Sheryl Moore as being the head coach. You got to start somewhere. So I understand that. But I, I just didn't expect us to be this poorly coached. I thought that you know, the guys that they brought in would at least somewhat maintain the level of excellence that Harbaugh and his coaching staff had from last year. This is lights and, you know, by far way different. If I'm not mistaken, I think we turned the ball over, what, either six or eight times all year last year? We're number one in 
turnover differential. Compare that to now. Led the, the league all in CAA in penalties per game. That's gone through the roof. It's like all the things that we did so well last year. It's like none of that has come to pass for this year. And that's all on coaching. That's all on people being accountable. You weren't seeing the dumb penalties. You weren't seeing the penalties that were sustaining drives for the other team. You weren't seeing um, guys just be lost out there and making poor plays, poor pursuit angles, bad coverage, um, you know, dumb, dumb penalties. Like I said, that extend drives for the other team, like personal foul penalties. Uh, just, just a lot of stuff that you wouldn't expect from a Michigan team that in years past you would never see, but you're seeing it now. And it's like, where does this come from? So all that has to be fixed or else it's going to be us basically back to the Stone Age. So, anyways, that's it for the video. I sucks that I'm having to make this type of video. I was hoping to make a video being excited about our win, but it just wasn't in the cards, man. So, anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please leave a go blue in the comment section. If you enjoy my video, please leave a like on the video. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below and enjoy if you enjoy my content definitely subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and as always go blue